All right, so what I want to talk about today is the secret fuel tuner that is in uh, this model and actually a lot of, I think, Yamaha models. So this is a, a 2008 R1 and I bought this bike and I realized it was using a lot of fuel, like more than what I expected. And I've ridden a lot of different sport bikes and I even thought about wanting to sell because you know the high fuel usage um you know i looked at getting like one of those uh power commander fuel um fuel commander i think it's called uh just to you know that was like 500 dollars just to maybe reduce the fuel and it's not about like the money but it's more like um like just the range and just the question like why is it using so much fuel when i'm just cruising to work sort of thing i realized from some comments people made in my other video um that actually the it has the the bike has its own inbuilt fuel tuner similar to like the diagnostics um that it has which i made a video about before but uh it's also got a fuel tuner so um, i'm going to show you how to actually you know use the fuel tuner uh, i think it's different depending on what country you're in so my one from the looks of it is open um, i could fully tune it uh, other ones i think you have to set like a, a wire uh, you have to ground one of the wires um, just like do your own research you can you can easily find that information and that will open up fuel tuning uh, so yeah I'm gonna show you how you do it and and uh, secondly I'm also gonna talk about what it actually means because there seems to be some contention some people think that you know it, there's four values c1 c2 c3 and c4 and people think um mo mostly that it's for each cylinder whether you want to make each cylinder rich or lean but there's some other information which primarily started from an r6 forum uh, which says that each c value is actually a range so c1 is for idle c2 is for like cruising through over 3000 rpm less than 25 throttle um, c3 is for giving it hard uh, and C4 is for full throttle uh, so it's a range not a per cylinder so um, I'm going to try and work out uh, what what they mean okay so today what we're going to do is we're going to look at these uh, fuel adjustment values C1, C2, C3, C4 on uh, this 2008 R1 and want to understand try to understand how it actually works um, by just like experimenting and you know using like a process of elimination looking at the the uh, symptoms or, or how the bike runs and coming up with like a, you know a hypothesis on on how we think because there's a lot of different opinions on what this the c1 2 3 and 4 values do so uh, i want to try and like experiment and like ascertain uh, what what it is so the first thing like um so the main thing is because you know we're comparing whether it's the range one or whether it's per cylinder uh so right now i've got all the values on minus 10 let's just see how it runs start it just have a look at this and So it's running okay. It doesn't seem doesn't seem rich or anything like that. So what we'll do next is <clears throat> we'll adjust it. And so I really want to just prove or ascertain about the mid-range one so anyway i'll do this and it's press and hold uh, reset and select press and hold for eight seconds so 
so diag and then you go to CO and then you press that for two seconds and then since so that's the one there so since I want to know is it per cylinder or is it um, you know C1 is for idle C2 is for like writing C2, 3 and 4 for writing so I'll change 2, 3 and 4 I'll leave C1 to be like if you look at it now if I look at it I'm going to hold for 2 seconds it's minus 10 so that's like lean um, I'll go to C2 So minus 10 so if I go all the way up and the range one is for like when it's talking about an R6 um, but some people said oh no it's for an R1 as well but I think mostly f the consensus for an R1 is that it's per cylinder value um, so 126 is the highest unlike the R6 it says it's plus or minus 25 and each number is a percent of more fuel or less fuel but uh these one is just like a number it's like the co2 or the, the co value the carbon value which um the positive number is richer the negative number is leaner okay c4 c4 so, so two, three, and four. I'm gonna make it really, really rich. And then, if it idles rich, then I know that it's a cylinder value. It's not the range value, which was people talking about the R6. Um, so it'll prove it. So that's it. And then um, what you do is you gotta turn the bike off, and you gotta leave it off for 30 seconds. I think 30 seconds is when the security light starts flashing. So let's start her up now with this rich value. Let's see if there's any difference. So it's not smooth. And it's very, I can smell that it's very rich. I can smell that that is very rich. So, yeah, I can smell it. So that kind of proves that I haven't changed C1. Now, let's do like a double blind test. Let's change only C1. Let's not change the others and see if it's more or less rich. C1 Go all the way up Okay, so C1 is very rich maximum 2, 3 and 4 back to minus 10 So this one is proving whether it's only C1 That has an effect Oh, I'm getting a code. What's that? 17 November? Oh, 17 kilometers <laughs> Uh, Alright, so this one C1 is on very high uh, The rest of them are on lean So it does seem still a little rich But not as much as before so I would think it'll have to, if C1 was controlling the richness only, like they were saying with the R6, then this should this should still be really rich. I f I don't, it doesn't even feel rich to be honest. Even though see the revving is different. Um, doesn't seem rich to me. So uh, I think for that idle part, it tells me that 
it, it's like it's just a cylinder it's the trimming value per cylinder not you know each being a different range c1 being idle c2 being mid-range etc um but what i want to do is ride the bike and try and get symptoms for when it's running rich in the mid-range so and i might even want to go lean as well maybe if i can get like a lean bog kind of thing happening um that kind of can prove it as well so i don't want to just prove idling i want to prove riding so uh if the range one is correct it'll be based on whatever range i set so i'll make everything really really rich i'll make everything really rich ride it see if i can um have something that distinguishes that it's rich and then C1 C1 was really rich already I think so that was already rich C2 so I want to determine, I've got everything really rich, I want to see if oh, I can tell, I can't even ride the thing. I want to tell if, I don't even think I can ride it this rich. I can smell it's so rich, it's really rich. It's about... I want to try and get above 3,000 RPM. So, mid-range. Above 3,000 RPM. Are there any characteristics that can show me that it's rich? Change the other values. I'll determine which Oh man um, By the way, you know this sort of thing can damage your bike so um, Just be, make sure you know what you're doing So Oh man, why do I have to have a red light? Yeah, so this sort of thing can damage your bike as well, so playing around with these fuel values Just so you make sure you kind of know what you're doing So I want to know Can I tell that the bike is rich? There's nothing really showing me that the bike is rich. Like, there's nothing I can say now it's running rich, now it's running lean. What else I do? I don't know. It's gonna stall a bit. <laughs> These lights will never turn on. Oh, they turned on. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, I cannot, I can maybe, if I go on the lean side, oh there's a kangaroo, look at that, <sighs> okay, that's not good, let's uh, so uh, I'm actually gonna leave it at that. Um, I really wanted to find out if I can tell that the bike was rich while I was riding, like at 
above 3000 RPM but I don't think like I made everything so rich and I couldn't really tell the difference um, so uh, what I think I will do is I'll turn down all the values to like uh, minus 10 for C1 to C4 maybe minus 20 and see if it affects my fuel economy that's probably the only real way because uh, the way I ride um, you know when I'm going to work it's like uh, 50 kilometers on a straight highway and I get very very consistent fuel values like week in week out it's always the same so um, like it's down to like I usually get 6.1 per hundred liters per hundred kilometers um, very consistently uh, so and, the, and I measure that at the fuel pump like I I look at how much kilometers I've done on the trip meter and then I uh, just look how much fuel I've put in I've been using that method for like um, you know seven years on various different bikes and, and on each different bike it's very consistent so I think idle wise we've proven that well I'm, I'm satisfied that it's not a range you know C1 is not only for idle where the others are for different ranges I think it's a true mean value for every cylinder um, three three of the cylinders when I had two three and four on really rich it was idling rich and then compared to when I just had one really rich um, it was yeah see one was like minus 10 that means it's not like the R6 okay every cylinder is every C value is for each cylinder now um, the next thing to prove is is that the idle like is it only for idling um, some people said, oh, it's only idling, that's the only thing it changes, it doesn't change mid-range. But what I believe it is, what I think it is, my, my hypothesis, is that it is a constant value that is applied to the curve, to the fueling curve. Right, so whatever the fueling curve is, and these values are a constant, a positive constant or a negative constant throughout the whole fueling range so it doesn't change your fueling like um, like you would if you put on a different exhaust and it changes you know different RPMs should have more or less it doesn't do that it just gives an overall uh, you know when it is tuned for your exhaust like you've got the stock exhaust so it's tuned for the stock exhaust and it'll just make it more rich across the whole range I could have um, maybe ridden like this um, and trying to ascertain whether the performance was better or worse based on the different C values and I could have proven it like that but uh, it'll be by feel it wouldn't be as concrete as you know I've been getting 6.1 for the past six months now I'm getting you know 5.7 or something like that um, that would be that would be absolute concrete and uh, so I want to write it for like maybe this week and then I'll come back with the results